Dear Ukrainians, first of all this stuff, there was a detailed conversation with the military, the government and the heads of special services on a number of issues. First, Commander-in-Chief Sirsky and Chief of the General Staff Barhelevich delivered their reports on the situation at the front, the main directions, the majority of the battles and the heaviest attacks are taking place in the Donetsk region. In fact, this is the main direction of Russian strikes. Of course, we also addressed the situation in the south, in the Kharkiv region, in the border areas of the Sumy and Chernihiv regions. I am grateful to every unit, every commander and soldier who helped stabilize the Kharkiv direction. We are doing everything necessary step by step to make Russia see that we have the means to respond to any attempt to expand the war and increase pressure on Ukraine, and we are working with our partners to improve our capabilities, to make them even more long-range. Second, a report by government officials on the energy sector and the possibilities for protection and recovery. Every day and at all levels this should receive not just maximum, but total attention from all responsible officials. Also today, the Minister of Defense and the Ministry of Strategic Industries reported on our production and procurement of drones. This is the area where we must constantly increase the volume. In this war, it had been proven, and especially by our warriors, that drones can give the advantage and help regain the initiative. While we were waiting for artillery supplies from our partners, the FPV drones practically saved the front line. Our long-range drones have proven Ukraine's ability to degrade the internal strengths of a terrorist state. We must continue this. We will continue. I think everyone who works for this particular Ukrainian strengths, for our warriors at their front, to have the necessary drones, and for our defense and security forces of Ukraine to continue to change the situation by using drones. And this is a matter of personal responsibility of the leadership. And third, I gave several instructions on the preparations for the next meetings of the staff and the next decisions. We see the threats that exist. The state must be ready to respond accordingly. It is only the beginning of June, but these are already the weeks that will determine the whole summer and in many ways this year. It is about the peace summit and our consolidation of the world for the sake of Ukraine. It is also about Europe our relations with the European Union, and of course it is also about our positions on the front and domestic production. We are doing our best in each of these areas to bring results, to bring them to Ukraine. I am grateful to everyone who is helping. I am grateful to everyone who is doing everything possible to ensure that this war ends, and that it ends in a fair way for Ukraine. Glory to Ukraine!